this photo may well be a stage stock photo. I agree, it's a good photo as well, actually. Um, but what we can start to think about by using this photo as stimulus is we can start to think about the difference between 1RM and 15RM. And to be clear, the RM stands for repetition, repetition maximum. Okay, so let's get that nice and clear from the get-go. So effectively, with our one rep max, this individual wants to know what is the maximum weight with good technique without manipulating the lift that they can lift once. Okay, that would be one rep max. 15 rep max, of course, would be how many, uh, what would be the maximum weight they can lift and repeat 15 times with a consistent speed of movement. Okay, so what we'd say first of all is that our one RM, this is an assessment of strength. I mean, you could say maximum strength, it's an assessment of strength. Whereas our 15 RM, if I put this in another co color over here, our 15 RM, this is. An assessment. What do you think I'm going to write down here? If I can fit that in, that make, that's his assessment. Trust me, it's an assessment of muscular endurance. So we've got these two mechanisms, both of which are performed mus muscular endurance. Crikey! Sometimes I just got to write things down before I start saying the next things. So we've got an assessment of strength. We've got an assessment of muscular endurance. Now, when we when we sort of want to think about this, let's let's assume that this person follows the one repetition max protocol coverage of which I'm going to include another lesson. They find they find find out that their maximum lift is let's say it's 80 kilos for argument's sake. That's what they find out. Now, if that person wanted to work on max strength, that person would have to do 90% of 80 kilos and they would do that something in the region of 6 reps. So they would find out what 90% of 80 is, which I've crept my mass, but I think it's 72 kilos, and they would lift that something in the region of six times. If they were looking at what we would call elastic strength, you know, that sort of power factor, they would do it differently. They would look at something like 75% of their 80 kilograms, which I think, um, correct me if I get this wrong, but I think that's 60 kilograms, and they would lift that something in the region of 12 reps. And if they wanted to work on something like strength endurance, they would work something in the region of 50 to 60 percent of one rep max. But let's say it's 50 percent, the, the figures are 50 to 60, 50 percent of 80, which of course would be 40 kilograms. And those people would lift that for that, um, for that intent, they would lift that for something like 20 reps, reps 20. So therefore, that factor of one repetition max can get us a training session on max strength or elastic strength or endurance strength because we can manipulate that one rep max when we come to do our actual session. Now, the 15 rep max is different. This can be manipulated in exactly the same way, but we will only use it for strength endurance. And I would stress to you that the key thing with the 15 rep max is, is it increasing? Because it would be very common for people in the gym to be increasing, for example, their max strength or their power, but can they lift a lighter weight for longer? And we often find that people miss out on this factor because they focus in on the one rep max and don't utilize the 15 at all and don't measure the, the, the possibility of them repeating this up and down 15 times without fatigue. Okay, so it's another mechanism that you can use. But of course, the classic mechanism is the one rep max. We would use 90% for max strength, 75% for elastic, 50 to 60. Remember, it was 50, 50 to 60% for strength endurance of the one rep max. This time, of course, 20 repetitions or even to exhaustion. Hope that's useful. Cheers.